things they just keep overlapping. And when the timing is correct, it turns into something new. I love the word ordinary. In this ordinary ingredient that you see it everywhere. This is a nice thing. At the time of looking at dishes, I look at things that we, or I grew up eating. I have to say, it's like one of my favorite things is to eat mashed potato and fish. Well, we can do a, an outtake on this, you know, like keep using those dry shrimps as delicious. That uh, idea that. triggered how we can do that dish, how we can put it on the menu without intimidating anybody, also surprising people. So they cut potatoes, boil. The rainbow ones are pretty perfect. We get these very beautiful potatoes that are extremely creamy and sweet. Peel them, smash them. Right, olive oil, but very little. I think those are just perfect on their own. Pico mushrooms that we have quite a bit of it, right? Right, yes? Yeah, you do. Oh, yeah. All right. To add another bite, another layer. Spring onions, right? That we pick up with a little bit of vinegar. A little bit of the sage with the pico peppercorn right into the fish. That kick that it needs. And we cook in a very low temperature in a pan, very gently, all the time, pretty much on the skin side. And then we're gonna do uh, sweet potato leaves. So potato at the bottom, right? It's all about the textures. Everything is stuck on top of itself. Mushrooms. Then we do a, a whole blanket with the leaves. I'm gonna flash it on the salamander. Moisture on the leaves so they will. Yeah, so they yeah. slightly will. And then the sauce. The sauce we do the, the fish stock. She put a little bit of grapefruit, I think. We reinforce with some seaweed with mushrooms. Maybe a pinch more. Brother? Grapefruit okay, juice. Maybe a drop of lemon. Big. The sauce is very important. It's, it's extremely light, but it's a lot going on. Nice. So that's gonna add that uh, the depth into it. 